Coleman Francis, who was an American actor, writer, and producer and director. He was best known for his film trilogy consisting of The Beast of Yucca Flats, The Skydivers of Red Zone Cuba, and all three which were filmed in the general vicinity of Santa Clarita, California. Hallmarks of Francis film include preoccupation with light aircraft, parachuting, coffee or cigarettes serving as props or centers of the conversation, and vigilante style gunning down of suspects without trials at the film's conclusions. Francis and his films have gained a cult status as a result of their appearances on the comedy series Mystery Science Theater 3000, where they became infamous for their poor production values, repetitive plot devices, mindering storylines, and stilted acting. Some critics have characterized Francis as being the worst director of all time, even suggesting that he may surpass Ed Wood in the terms of ineptitude. Francis was born in Greer County, Oklahoma in 1919. He was the son of William F. Francis and Sita Estes. During the Great Depression, he moved to Texas. In the 1940s, Francis headed for Hollywood to start an acting career. He played in minor parts in several films from the late 40s to the early 70s, oftentimes without credit, including Blondie's Reward, Scarlet Angel, The Girl in White, This Island Earth, She Couldn't Say No, Twilight of the Gods, PJ and Motorcycle. In 1958, brought his first credited role, Stakeout on Dope Street, where he played a detective. His last work in the film industry was in 1970, when he played a drunk in Russ Meyer's Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. In 1959, Francis formed a partnership with Anthony Tony Cardoza, a welder by trade, and together they created three films, The Beast of Yucca Flats, The Skydivers, Red Zone Cuba. Francis wrote and directed the films while Cordoza handled production duties. Francis married Barbara Francis. While the two had divorced prior to the filming of The Beast of Yucca Flats, she was cast as Lois Radcliffe in Beast and appeared as the wife of the spectator, played by Coleman in his follow-up, The Skydivers. They had two sons, Alan and Ronald, who appeared as Art and Randy Radcliffe in The Beast of Yucca Flats and The Spectator's Son in The Skydivers. Of course, Francis died in California on January 5, 1973 at the age of 53 through heart failure or heart problems and is listed as official cause of death. However, Cardoza says Francis' body was found in the back of the station wagon at the Vine Street Ranch Market with a plastic bag over his head and a tube going into his mouth around his throat. Francis is buried at the Columbarium of Remembrance in the Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in Los Angeles. Instead of fading into the annals of cinema history, Francis' three directed films gained cult status after being featured on the Mystery Science Theater 3000 in the mid-90s, as previously mentioned. And of course, Francis, you live on as the smoking, coffee-drinking director who made really, really bad films and was the postman in the movie This Island Earth. If you want videos like this, comment below and share and like and tell me who you would like me to talk about in this B-Cyclopedia. Who's your daddy? Thank you.